All right, guys, this is going to be how to install a custom ROM, okay? So, two things, first things we got to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to make sure that we have access. So, we have to have super user, which I do. Here's super user, so we're good there. Um, and I'm going to click down here on system recovery, which is called bootstrap recovery. It's an app. All right, so at the top up here, we have uh, install recovery. So, we'll hit that button. All right, it installed correctly. Next, it says to plug in your phone charger. So we're gonna plug that in. And then it says to hit recovery mode. All right, so what's gonna happen here is your phone is going to reboot and we will be into uh, and be able to install a custom uh, ROM. All right, so normally what this does, bootstrap recovery hijacks um, the charge mode. So normally right here you'd go to the Motorola logo and then it would go to the battery like you're for charging. Um, but it hijacks that battery mode and opens up Clockwork Mod Recovery. So once we open Clockwork Mod Recovery, let's see here. Alright, all right, there we go. There's Clockwork Mod Recovery. So first thing you want to do is you want to back up your current round. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go to backup and then you're going to hit your power button. You're going to scroll down the backup and hit your power button. It says backup and restore. I like to um, back up to my external SD, which I'm going to do here. And then pick that. And then on the top it says backup and you pick that. Now it's going to do a backup, so I'm going to pause this and we'll come back to it. But uh, this is backup's going to take about 10 minutes to run a backup. So once the backup stops, we'll come back to it and see where we're at. All right, guys, so we finished our backup. Uh, just so you guys know, this is for the uh, Motorola Droid X2. Um, so now we've backed up our system. And also this, this Droid is on uh, Android version 2.3.4. So now we've got that done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our up and down volume keys because that's how you scroll and we're going to scroll down to right here it says uh, wipe data factory reset okay so we're going to hit that with the power button and then we're going to scroll down to where it says delete all user data so then you're going to hit the power button and you're going to run that I do not want to run it but that's how you would do it when it's done you'll be back to this screen and we're going to scroll down then and hit uh, wipe cache partition. And you're going to hit the top button there. And you'll go down and hit yes, wipe cache, and hit the top button. All right. Once that is done, which won't take long, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to advanced. Hit that one. And then you're going to scroll down one to wipe Delvic cache. And you're going to hit that one on the top button and then you're going to scroll down and then hit yes wipe delvic cache and then hit the power button all right so when those are all done you've got a clean slate basically so then you can go and uh we'll go back go um go back all right once that's all done you can go back and then you can scroll down to install zip from SD card okay so we'll hit that button and you hit the uh, top button to select it all right and then we're gonna go to choose zip from SD card hit that one all right so now we're looking at our SD card most people have um, downloaded this and so it's probably gonna whatever ROM they're trying to flash custom ROM it's probably gonna be under download okay Mine is not, um, but that is basically where most people are going to have it. So I'm going to scroll down to one of mine. Uh, this is CM7. And we'll hit, click that folder. And then in that folder, we can see um, what is in there. Uh, CM7, right here, this is CM7.2.0 uh, RC1. Um, so. On CM7 and CM9, you have to you also have to flash the gaps. But basically, so from here, you just select that one, and then you scroll down to yes, install this update, 
and then you select that one with the power button um, and then you let that run when it finishes running it'll bring you back to your choose zip screen so you want to choose zip from SD card again you want to scroll down to CM7 again folder for me and you want to flash the gaps which is the Google Apps um, and then you want to hit that one click it scroll down say yes install pick hit select that one and and install it all right so then we can go back and then basically from here all you have to do is um, restart the phone and uh, you will have installed your custom ROM yeah right here it says reboot system now you hit it and uh, then you're pretty much from there you're gonna restart and you'll be uh, you'll have your uh, custom ROM on here and normally the first boot up on a custom ROM is going to take you up to 10 minutes because it has to recreate the cache the cache for the for the ROM and put everything in line once you've done that the next startup may be like two minutes not even so that's pretty much how you would install it um, and that's it installing custom ROMs on the Droid X2 on Android version 2.3.4 thanks guys